Hey guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to the channel and well, a new look for the videos as well. Uh, hopefully you like it. It took me 11 hours nearly to get this all like moved around yesterday and all the rest of it. It was just absolutely crazy. It looks nice. It looks good. So hopefully it's, uh, it's an improvement to the videos and everything like that. But there is something I want to talk about. There was actually going to be a reaction. There probably is still going to be a reaction coming tonight anyway. Uh, but everyone seems to be talking about this. I've even had messages off my own dad about this. Um, so yeah, uh, the news is out. Oasis are getting back together. I honestly never thought I'd see the day. Um, Liam and Noel fucking hate each other. Uh, but when you see how much money this is going to bring in, it's estimated to be £400 million pounds that they're going to make from this. Uh, interestingly enough though, it is not going to be all the original members. So if you are a fan of Oasis, you will not get the likes of Bonehead, the original members. Uh, and from what I've read and from what I can see online, it is going to be obviously Liam and Noel. Like no one else would be interested if it wasn't them two. Uh, it's going to be, from what I can see and from the few sources that I've been able to verify, it's going to be the band of Noel's High Flying Birds doing all the instrumentals and things. But yeah, people finally got what they want. Was I a fan? Of certain songs, probably, in the years ago. Like, my dad was a massive fan, so of course I could open the car listening to kind of songs by them and stuff like that. Will I be going to see them? Probably not. I think that Liam is an obnoxious cunt, to be fair. Uh, Noel's the talented one. Noel has always been the talented one. He wrote, wrote all the songs. He's the guitarist for the band. Um, he is the talented one. Liam, you know, he's he can't sing. It, it, if you can call that singing, it's... I mean, you know, people love them. People absolutely love them, but the guy is an absolute prick. Like, you listen to him talk and stuff, and we all know the reason they're getting back together. It's for the money, and I mean, you'd be stupid to turn down £200 million each if that's what it comes out to. Um, so, yeah, there was an announcement put out yesterday, like a cryptic kind of thing, saying that there was going to be something on their Twitter account today getting posted, and it has. It's come out. Uh, 2025 they are doing 10 dates back to back at Wembley uh, a couple of dates at Manchester's Heaton Park and then a couple in Cardiff as well uh, God knows how much the tickets are going to be on sale for but I seriously hope people who want to go and see them and I do get a chance to see them um, get them from reputable sellers because these are going to be tens of thousands of pounds on the tout sites and i can guarantee as well there'll be so many fake tickets doing the rounds so if you're a fan of the band fair enough you know go and enjoy it go and see them bit of uh, nostalgia and things like that they've got quite a few good songs um i was going to say i can play wonderwall but i actually can uh, which is embarrassing um i can play supersonic it's a cool solo i'll give them that um, but yeah, everyone kind of starts as it's a kind of a meme song now, isn't it? It's like, can you play Wonderwall? It's like three chords, but, um, you know, it's, it's going to be nostalgic for a lot of people. Um, I don't think me dad will go. He's, he's getting on a bit now. He, he'd even tell you himself. He'd be fucked. He couldn't stand up for that long. Um, but yeah, I believe, uh, Wembley for 10 nights, Manchester Heaton Park, uh, also a pre-announcement of a headline set as well at Glastonbury, which for the people that go to Glastonbury, they're a the perfect band. It will take off like crazy. You know, I hope that they do well. Um, you know, they clearly both, well, I actually don't think they need the money. They still get absolute millions in royalties every single year from the albums um, that they released all them years ago. Wonderwall is still played on a daily basis. You've got songs like Don't Look Back in Anger. Um, I was actually looking before, and the only song that is of note that I think Liam wrote was Songbird. Other than that, Noel has wrote every single, written every single one of the other ones. The well-known ones, anyway. The absolute bang is the people that appreciate. Um, but yeah, the memes have started already. My dad's already messaged me today saying, have you seen Oasis are getting back together? It is a huge thing for indie music. Obviously, you know, metalheads and things like that probably aren't a fan. I grew up with them just through going to school and stuff with my dad. He was a massive fan. I can appreciate some of the songs. You know, they did very, very well. Uh, they were probably the biggest band of the 90s. Um, for that kind of music in the indie scene. Um, I just personally think that they're not going to get through the whole tour. I think something will happen. One of them will say something to the other one. Liam will end up chin and Noel on stage and it'll be game over and it'll probably cost them a fortune because that money will have already been spent in tickets and things like that. But we'll see. Stranger things have happened, people. Uh, but it's big news. You know, they are a huge band of the last 25, 30 years, which makes me feel really fucking old. But 
it's official. It's out there. Ticketmaster have got the pre-sale tickets going live in three days. You can pick them up. Uh, Manchester Heaton Park, Wembley, Cardiff, uh, and of course Glastonbury as well. There is many a dates that they're going to be doing. Ten nights in a row in Wembley is insane. To be fair, you know if he can pull it off for ten nights in a row, fair play. But that's that's a big ask. They're going to sell so many tickets. And the figure doing the rounds is about four hundred million pounds. So two hundred million each. Obviously, divide that up as well a little bit between the band members and things. But then you've got merch on top of that. It's going to be insane. Whoever is putting this show on, whoever is promoting this show, is making a serious, serious amount of money. Um, but yeah, it's official, people. It's happening. There's been a couple of things in the news lately. I know that uh, that Noel Noel Gallagher told Dave Gold to mind this, wind this fucking neck in or something. It'll never happen. Now it's happening. Money talks, people. If I was in a band and I was like, no, fuck you, and they were like, we'll give you 200 million quid to talk to your brother, I'd be like, fuck yes. I can do 200 million quid, then he can get fucked again. Probably that's what's going to happen. I personally think they've done it for the money. Uh, it would have been, you know, like proper old school uh, nostalgia if it was the original members, because that obviously brings with it, you know, people that are a fan of, of the older members and stuff, the other the guitarist, the bassist, the drummer, things like that. Um, but yeah. You're getting Liam and Noel. Obviously, they're the two main ones. They're the ones that have been falling out with each other for the last 10, 15 years. Uh, and we've got it. It is a big thing for music. Personally, not a huge fan. But in terms of music fans in general, it is a big thing for the scene. So if you do go and see them, if you are an Oasis fan, have an amazing time. Hopefully, they do put on an amazing show for you. I can see it being a two or three hour set that they'll do. Um, and it does say as well on Liam Gallagher's official Facebook page that it will not be televised. So but we'll see what the manager says when they're like, yeah, record it. And then we'll release a DVD, which will make it even more of that afterwards. But there we go. What do you think? Are you an Oasis fan? Is your mum or your dad or your granddad or your dead nan's fucking Catholic cat? Are they are they fans of Oasis? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of the new setup. But until next time, I will leave it there, people. Thank you very much for watching. See you all on the next video. Take care and yeah, bye for now.